J Dub is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead season six episode review video. But before I get into that, it is extremely, and I mean extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead and you're not entirely sure, I suggest that you pay attention to this episode title. I'll put the title name in the description for you because I'm a nice guy. And if that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, then I suggest, and so does everybody else, that you don't watch this video any further simply to avoid potential spoilers, and there'll be lots of them. This is going to be The Walking Dead Season 6, Episode Number 9. The title of this episode is called No Way Out. This will be my review, reaction, recap of the episode. And keep in mind, I've seen this episode many times. Probably at least 15, possibly closer to 30. Who knows? I lost count. I'm just reviewing it to have it reviewed on my channel, and I'm reviewing it due to the fact that they announced that The Walking Dead Season 11 will be the final season of the main Walking Dead show, not necessarily the end of The Walking Dead story. So we started off with a replay of the end credits scene from the mid-season finale, uh, stopped on the road by a group of saviors. Abraham, Sasha, and Daryl are forced to give up their weapons. They are told that their property now belongs to Negan. Who's that? Um... The group leader has one of their henchmen take Daryl to the back of the fuel truck to begin a thorough search while continuing his attempts to intimidate Abraham and Sasha into revealing the location of Alexandria. And then he suggests he is going to kill one of them when Daryl, who has silently strangled the henchman to death, blows up the entire biker group with Abraham's RPG launcher. That was crazy and really good. Now, it makes me wonder if that was really supposed to be an end credit scene for the last season or the last, uh, the episode, the mid-season finale. I don't know. Maybe, but it seems like it's weird that they show the same scene two different times. Aside from that, we have Rick, Carl, Father Gabriel, Michonne, Judith, Jesse, Ron, and Sam. They escape Jesse's house in a makeshift walker gut ponchos to camouflage themselves from the walkers, holding hands to stay together. Rick decides to lead them to the quarry to retrieve vehicles and repeat his earlier plan to lure the herd away from Alexandria while Gabriel takes Judith to safety of his church. Like, they can't take, take Judith with because she's going to start crying eventually and make a lot of noise. And Gabriel's like, I'll take her to my church. She'll be safe. And Gabriel's all, all confident. Like, this is his thing. He has to do this. And Gabriel was a badass in this episode. So Gabriel does take Judith to the church, and then Jesse tries to get Sam to go with Gabriel, but Sam refuses. Stupid Sam. And then as they head toward the front gate, Sam has a breakdown when he notices a walker child, and then like replays in his mind all the things that Carol said about the monsters and all that. And uh, he cries to attract the walkers who devour him alive. And then Jesse, for some odd reason, refuses to let go of Sam's hand, and is also feasted upon as the walkers bite her. And then Jesse hasn't let go of Carl. Because she has Carl's hand. And Carl can't get loose from her. And they're about to go after Carl. Then Rick all of a sudden snaps and chops off Jesse's arm with his hatchet. Freeing Carl who stumbles and drops his gun. And with the entire family now dead. Well, eaten at least. Probably turd. Ron picks up Carl's gun and aims it at Rick, and then Michonne at the last second stabs him with her katana. The gun does end up firing, however, it shoots Carl's right eye out. So this is straight from the Walking Dead comic books. Carl, we think, has lost his eye at this point in time. And then meanwhile, the Alpha Wolf decides with Denise waiting for an opportunity to slip through the walkers and escape. When there's a clear route over the wall, they make their move. But the wolf, or the alpha wolf, goes back to save a faltering Denise and is bitten in the process. So he actually did end up being good. Well, in the end, at least, as, uh, you know, Denise, he could have went over the wall himself, but he went back to save Denise, which, that was a good redeeming arc. I mean, I can't fully redeem him, but just a very little percentage point, he can be redeemed. And Denise, then Denise makes the Alpha Wolf a deal to save his life if he gets her to the infirmary. Uh, Carol searches Morgan's home for other surprises, and he apologizes for hurting her. Carol, not convinced, responds that she should have killed Morgan. 
While Denise puts a tourniquet around his arm, the wolf questions why he endangers himself to save her, and the psychiatrist suggests that he's changed and become more like the Alexandrians. Well, you're not going to live in Alexandria. You're going to get killed the first chance they get. No offense, uh, wolf guy. And then while the, alpha was, while the alpha wolf is protecting Denise from other walkers, he is shot by Carol. Carol shouts for Denise to run, and she is shocked when the alpha wolf, even as he is being swarmed and eaten by walkers, echoes Carol's calls for Denise to go and save herself. Okay, so the guy redeemed himself just a little bit at the end. He was still an asshole, but, you know. And then uh, the Alpha Wolf later turns as a walker and is put down by Morgan, who apologizes as he kills the Alpha Wolf. I don't know why Morgan said sorry, but whatever. Denise manages to get to the infirmary where she begins helping Carl. Realizing there's nothing left for him to do at the infirmary, Rick looks out the window and then Rick grabs his hatchet looks at it and starts walking outside and begins an onslaught against the walkers. This was an epic moment in the episode. I've never been like so into a Walking Dead episode that I saw that when Rick grabbed his hatchet and just started going after the walkers all alone. <laughs> as soon as Carl stitched up, Michonne, Heath, Aaron, and Spencer rush, out, rush outside to join Rick. Their actions motivate the others of Rick's group and many Alexandrians to join the battle. With Eugene recognizing that this would be a moment in history where everyone would be counted. And Father Gabriel, this is an awesome part. So you have, you know, Reg let, you know Rosita saying, let's go, and, you know, Terrell even. And then Eugene's like, right behind you. And they look, Eugene, you could stay here. No, I, I, I can't stand on the sidelines today. I need to part of, be a part of this. And then Gabriel's in the church holding Judith. And then he sees everybody make the move. And he's like, can you hold on to her, please? And he grabs the hatchet, or not the hatchet, the uh, the machete. And uh, starts to walk toward the door. And Tobin is like, Gabriel, what are you doing? We've wanted strength. We've wanted to be out of this situation. God has given the strength to us to defend ourselves. And then Gabriel, this is like the, the moment where Gabriel turned on the show and became like, certifiable and now he's like certifiable badass but he he what an epic moment but anyway so eugene recognizes that it would be a moment in history where everyone would be counted on and father gabriel preaching that god has saved him by making them brave enough to to fight and then there's a scene where glenn sees maggie on that uh, that platform uh but that thing's about to be knocked down so glenn rushes over there starts shooting a bunch of walkers and then maggie sees glenn and she's like glenn and then Glenn's slowly but surely shooting himself out of bullets and backing up against the the wall Alexander, of Alexandria, where there's no there's no going anywhere else. And uh, he keeps pushing the walkers away. He's out of bullets and he's about to get swarmed by uh, the walkers. And as that's happening, Edith to get can get Maggie on the shaky outlook tower, but is swarmed and saved by the timely arrival of Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha. So Glenn's about to get it, and all of a sudden. Somebody, the so, people are shooting the walkers, and it's Sasha and Abraham. And then Abraham's like, can you get the gate? <laughs> Epic moment. I honestly, truth be told, didn't think Glenn was in trouble at all in season three, or season three, season six, episode three. Thank you. This particular moment, I thought Glenn was going to sacrifice himself for Maggie right here. That's what I thought was going to happen. I thought this was the end of Glenn right here in this particular episode. But... It didn't happen. But uh, Sasha and Abraham clear out the walkers with two assault rifles from atop the fuel truck. And then Glenn opens the gate so Maggie and Edith can climb down the fuel truck. And then with Sasha and Abraham cover Daryl, who has filled the pond with fuel and ignites it with the RPG launcher. The enormous pool of fire in the night immediately draws the attention of the walkers. This takes pressure off those who's fighting are those who are fighting just as they were about to be overwhelmed, allowing them to gain the upper hand and continue relentlessly. So there's a scene where you have like the they kind of show characters like you know killing one walker, then it goes to the next character, and then it goes really fast. It's like this this comic booky thing where they show a bunch of characters killing walkers, including Gabriel and Eugene, who are like the two weakest, and now they look really strong. And then it ends with Rick like killing a walker, and then he's like, yeah, anymore. And, like, the walkers are defeated. It's crazy. I, I can't believe 
Like they all of a sudden got the upper hand that quick. So the next morning, the survivors regroup after having killed every last walker that invaded, so to speak, Alexandria. Rick pleads with his unconscious son to pull through, hopeful for the future as Alexandrians have proven they have what it takes to live. Uh, as the Alexandrians stepped up too, Heath, Aaron, uh, Spencer, Tobin, uh, Olivia, Eric even helped out a little bit with his foot in a walking cast. And um, as they have what it takes to take lives, the Alexandrians, and now believing that Deanna's plans could be achieved, Carl's fingers close around Rick's hand in a, a seeming response. So, wow, that is the end of the episode. Obviously, you guys probably figured it out figured it out already at the moment this is my favorite episode of the walking dead hands down it's number one i absolutely love this episode i mean i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 but really it's a 100 out of 10 my character of the episode i mean there's a lot of good moments in this episode i mean you got to give it to rick but honorable mention to father gabriel is he really stepped it up he got judith to safety and he went out and started fighting because god gave him the strength with his uh, machete uh, Glenn had a minor moment that was really scary, and I thought Glenn was really a goner. So I, I absolutely love this episode. We could have had a more significant character death, but obviously we're going to get those. Jesse, Sam, and Ron, and then the Alpha Wolf guy were the, 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 the four deaths in the episode. But what an amazing episode. I have, I have no complaints. It's awesome. So now it's your turn to tell me what you think. So if you're a fan of The Walking Dead... And you like this six, season six, episode number nine, No Way Out. Or if you just like The Walking Gen Dead in general, go ahead and smash that like button. Share the video with anybody that you think would be interested in listening or watching this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment with your thoughts on the episode, your score of the episode, your character of the episode, your favorite moment of the episode. You can tell me about your favorite characters of The Walking Dead, least favorite characters, or you can tell me about your favorite episodes or least favorite episodes. Episodes that compare with this. I know season... 701 is pretty good. I know uh, 915 is, well, it's sad but good. But this, in my opinion, is the best episode. I'd say number two is probably uh, season four, episode eight, Too Far Gone. Or uh, season five, episode one, No Sanctuary. Those are like my three favorite episodes of The Walking Dead. So leave comments. Tell me what you think. Anything you want to talk about Walking Dead, I'm here for you. I'll answer and respond to every comment. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special as JDev will return.